With the unexpected success of the short but terrifying indie horror download Slender, it's not surprising to see a sequel follow it up, Slender The Arrival. Do you dare return to the forest? It's amazing how a forum meme has gathered so much momentum that it now has two games, and Slenderman is as scary as ever. The moment I booted up this game I had the chills, even though nothing had actually happened yet. <laughs> the core game is still the same, which is good, because Slender owes a lot of its scares to its simplicity. But with help from Blue Isle Studios, the sequel is visually a bit better and a little more fleshed out as well. I'm not sure that the same positive note could be applied to the simplicity of the mechanics though. I would have liked to have seen them develop that a little bit more. Yeah, especially as you have more to interact with this time around, but we'll get to that. You play as Lauren and begin the game by paying a visit to your friend Kate. But when you arrive at Kate's house, she's nowhere to be found. Instead, you find the walls covered in manic scribbles and drawings. And then suddenly, a blood-curdling scream. It's classic horror, isn't it? The sun sets all too quickly and, and you're totally in the dark. And likewise, this game is best played at home with the lights off and a good set of headphones on. There's some really great sound design here. You'll hear what you think are your own footsteps, only you stop moving, but the sound of the footsteps continue. <laughs> yeah, that got me every time. I'd be looking left to right. Where is he? <laughs> when you get to that first house, some of the mechanics are a little awkward, though. Collecting letters and clues and objects, like our trusty flashlight for example, is all fine. But opening doors requires you to click on the door and then use your mouse to flick it open or closed. And this is really fiddly and annoying. Yeah, and when you're quite nervous and anxious because you can hear something behind you, faffing about with a door certainly doesn't help. Although maybe they did that on purpose. Thankfully, you don't encounter too many doors. No, 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 <laughs> no. What is he want? Soon, you find yourself hightailing it through the forest once more, as well as a few other locations, as Slendy's tentacles reach farther and wider than ever before. Oh my God, I'm <laughs> as you traverse abandoned houses, autumn hillsides, and dark, terrifying mines, you'll come across more letters and fragments to piece together the story. And Slenderman isn't the only terrifying beastie you'll have to deal with in the dark. Oh my God. Oh my God. No! <laughs> Rest assured, you will run. <laughs> you will scream. <laughs> no, no, no! And it will take you a few goes to get through some of these stages, which are pretty tough, and the stress just makes it tougher. Not to mention there's a difficulty setting you can adjust if you want to punish yourself. You can choose between normal and... Yeah, I, I tried it. <laughs> the generator level in the mines was the worst for me. It's like a labyrinth, and those creepy little things are always one step behind you. And just when you think Slendy has left you alone, bam, he appears. And it's always when I'm trying to find the last page or the last generator. But just like all good horror, the intrigue of this mystery will pull you through. Mm. All in all, it's certainly longer than the first game, but it can still be completed in a couple of hours. But it is reasonably priced, and I, I think it'll provide a satisfying follow-up to fans of that original cult hit. Uh, I had to take de-stress breaks between each of the stages, Barjo. I was terrified. I'm giving it seven. I love it when a phenomenon like this takes hold, you know, and just goes nuts. I want to see more from Slenderman. I don't want to see more of Slenderman, but I, I want to see more from Slenderman. I I I'm giving it seven and a half out of ten. <laughs> Oh gosh. Good game. <laughs>